Hello. I'm Mr. Red. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. A. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. A. A horse is a horse, of course, of course, and no one can talk to a horse, of course, that is, of course, unless the horse is the famous Mr. A. Go right to the source and ask the horse, he'll give you the answer that you endorse. He's always on a steady course. Talk to Mr. A. People yakety yak the street and waste your time a day, but Mr. Ed will never speak. A passion is a key thing to having a joyful life. It's something you love that lets you escape from all of the stressful things in life. It's important to have a passion because it gives us something to strive for in life and it gives us a chance to improve the world we live in. I have a passion for engineering. I've learned that engineers are an important part to our world and without them, we wouldn't have all the advanced technology that we have now. In order to get better at engineering, I listen to what others say to see if I can improve in any way. Some interesting things about engineers are that they can can create anything and it could become the world's next big thing. Do you have a passion? I believe everyone should because we all have a purpose and something we love doing. In fact, when we have a passion, we are more likely to have a strong growth mindset. Sincerely, Isabella Solander. Greetings students of Draper. I'm sure everyone's heard the word passion at least once in your life, but you may not have a definitive definition to go with the word. I feel that your passion is something more important than most of the minor and a few of the major decisions in your life. Your passion is something you really enjoy doing, something that you love, and it's also what you probably want to base your career off of. That's why it's so important to have some sort of drive or purpose from a somewhat young age so you have a base to build on when you're older. My personal passion is STEM. That's an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Nerdy, I know. What I've seen while doing these projects is that your passion usually decides almost everything career-wise when you get older. A job you find really interesting will likely relate to or determine your passion. I plan to take various unrelated steps to advance in and keep interest in my passion. Summer camps, robotics and engineering clubs, activities outside of school, etc. I also intend to work hard in school and classes, which is just in general a good rule of thumb. After talking to many experienced sources, many are of the opinion that if you really love your passion, you should find multiple people who either work in the field or have experience to talk about schooling, good habits, and other things. For my particular passion, there are many things I can do in my free time that people do to keep interest if they like doing them. Things like riddles, brain puzzles, challenging math and logic puzzles, anything of that nature. You may not have found your true passion yet, and that's okay. Not every kid is going to have their minds immediately set on something. It's just how these things work. You do still have a while, after all. Sincerely, Kennedy Stoya. Oh, my knees are walking. Speak unless he has something to say. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. And this one will talk to his voice, his horse. You never heard of a talking horse? 